Right, we're going to have a go at adding mixed numbers. Okay, so success criteria for this is very similar to mixed numbers and fractions actually. So what you do is you basically need to convert any mixed numbers into improper fractions and do that by using ma, so multiply and add, I'll go through that. And I have a little video on it, uh, it should be above somewhere if um, you want to have a quick look at it, it's very very simple. Then find the common multiple for the new and proper fractions. Then convert the fractions. So whatever you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. And then add the top and keep the bottom the same. And that is it. So let's uh, have a go at a couple of examples. We've got two and a third, add two and one sixth. So first thing, we need to convert these into improper fractions. So they're mixed, so we need to ask our math for help. Multiply and add. So we multiply the whole number with the denominator. So 2 times 3 is 6, then we add the numerator to that answer, which is 7. And that gives us, and then the denominator always stays the same, so it's 7 over 3. We have a game of this. 2 times 6 is 12, add the 1 gives me 13, so it's 13 over 6. And we are obviously adding. So, we don't have the same denominator yet, so we need to convert it, so we do so, let me see, same as the number between 6 and 3, so 3, 6, so it fits into both. So we've got the same denominator of 6. Now we don't need to do anything to this one because it's already in 6, so we'll just write it in straight away. However, this one, what have you done to 3 to get the 6? It's obviously been times by 2, which means we have to times the top by 2 as well. So now we've got our equivalent fraction, but it's in 6. Then we Add the top two numbers, which is 27, and keep the bottom number the same, 27 over 6. Straightforward enough. Let's have a look at another one, 1 and 2 sevenths, add 3 and a half. Again, convert them both, the mixed numbers, into improper fractions. Mixed, ma, we ask her for help. So multiply and add. So multiply 1 times 7, which is 7, then add the 2, gives me 9. So it's 9 over 7, add, then multiply 3 times 2, which is 6, add 1 is 7, 7 over 2. Now we need our common multiple, because the denominators are the same, and we're adding. So the common multiple here, 7 obviously doesn't work, 14 works for both, so we're going to change them both into 14 ths What have we done to 7 to get to 14? We've times it by 2. So we're going to times the top by 2 as well which gives me 18. What I've done to 2 to get to 14, it's been times by 7, which means I have to times the top by 7. So 7 times 7 gives me 49. Now, 49 add 18, I'm just going to do my quick column addition to make sure, gives me and then 1, add 4, that's 5, add 1 to 6, it's 67. So I've got 60. 7 over 14. That's my answer. Let's try one for you to have a go at yourself as well. To remember, convert these into our improper fractions using ma. Find the common denominator, convert them, and then keep the bottom the same and just add the top. So if you want to have a go, I'm going to go through the answer in 3 seconds. So pause now. So 3, 2, 1. Right. Convert it into improper, so multiply add, remember ma. 1 times 5 is 5, add the 1, gives me 6, so 6 over 5. 2 times 3 is 6, add the 2, gives me 8, so 8 over 3. So halfway there, that's the hardest bit probably. Then find the common multiple between 5 and 3, so 5 doesn't work, 10 doesn't work, 15 3 times 5, 15, 15 works. So I'm going to convert them both into 15ths. So what have I done to 5 to get to 15? Times by 3. So I have to times the top by 3 as well. What have I done to 3 to get 5? Times by 5. So I have to times the top by 5 as well. 8 times 5 is 40. Then all we do, add the top two numbers, gives me 58, and add don't, oh, sorry, don't add the bottom two numbers, keep the bottom numbers the same, which is 15. 
wie sie es sagt.